In this video, we're gonna recreate the ASAP Rocky video collage effect here in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to the effects tab, got a fusion composition. By default, my compositions are five seconds, so I'm gonna go here and type in 10, make it 10 seconds long. In fusion, you have a blank composition, I'm gonna move this to the side, I'm gonna grab a background node, I'm gonna take the output of it, and connect it to the input of the back, I mean, of the media out. As far as the color, you can leave it black, you can change the color if you want, or you can drop the alpha down and give you a transparent background. Then we're going to the Spectre tab under Images. I'm gonna uncheck Auto Resolution. Then I'm gonna take the top number here to 1920. I'm gonna times it by four. So I'm going to the calculator, 1920 times four, 7680. I'm gonna go back here and type in 7680. And what it's gonna do is gonna stretch out my background node Give me a 7680 by 1080p. Now for my effect, I use a bunch of stock background footage. And I just kind of replicate it. Actually, I'm gonna go back here. This is actually gonna give you that little, that kind of boomerang stutter effect. So I'm gonna take my little clip here, hold Alt on the keyboard, move it to the side. I'm gonna do this about five or six times. Really just depend on the length of your fusion composition. So say for instance, I go in here and click Control D. You can see this is not even a full second. Actually, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna delete and go back here and delete these. Hit Control D. I'm gonna make it at least a full second. And by being just one second and my composition being 10 seconds, makes you wanna make 10 copies. Now that I got my 10 copies, every other copy you want to reverse the speed. So you're just gonna click on here. It's my second one. I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard. Hit reverse speed, change. Then skip one, reverse speed. Now, if you play it back, you get the little stutter effect. From there, I'm gonna actually select all these. I have the keyboard shortcut of Alt-C to give me a compound clip. Hit Create. And then I'm gonna take that into Fusion since this have a green background. Do a search for the Delta key here. Take the little ink dropper, drop it on there. If you go back to the edit page, you can actually see some little debris and stuff in the background to clean that up. Go back into the Delta here, where it says status. You can actually see why I got all the debris there, all this gray here. You wanna go into mat on the low threshold, just bring it up to this black, then high end, bring it down. So your subject is filled in with white. Go back to your final results, you get a cleaner image. So you go back into the edit page, and you can see it's completely black now. From there, I will click on the clip. I'm going to render in place. Do the quick time on the codec, hit DNHR and type DNHR 444 12-bit. There is a Apple equivalent, I think it's ProRes 444 12-bit. That's gonna render out your subject with an alpha background. This also help maintain the color, especially if you're recording like 10-bit or 12-bit, this help maintain the resolution and the quality. And by me rendering, it's actually gonna put it in the media pool. So when I go back into Fusion, I can just pull the clips from there. All right, so back in Fusion, I'm gonna go back into my media pool. I got a bin here where I just got a bunch of clips all rendered out with different backgrounds. I'm just basically gonna grab a clip Take the output of the media one, connect it to the background node. It's gonna automatically create a merge. For them, I'm gonna select merge, and in the inspector tab, I'm gonna move the center over just to place it on my timeline, or place it in my composition. And you play it back, it just repeats that stutter, that stutter frame for 10 seconds. If you wanna add a background, like an image or something like that, you can go in here, I get this little image here, I'm gonna put it in the front. We're just gonna place it in the background of everything. Now, as you play the effect out, it's gonna actually move the image over. So to actually have the image replicate, you can go here on the edges, drop down canvas and select mirror, and it will just mirror that effect all the way out. Before I get too far into placing my subjects, I'm gonna close the media pool. I'm actually gonna transform node. I'm basically gonna animate this background node. So drop it at the end behind everything. Go into your first frame when you clip, select the keyframe for center, go into the last keyframe, and then you're just gonna move the center over. Now by having a mirror background, it's gonna continue to have this sky in the background throughout the whole clip. That's only if you want to, or whatever image you place there. As far as the keyframe placement, I would at least move it to, this is the initial background node framing, so I would at least move it until the point where that is out of frame, or out of this frame at least. So if you go back and play it back, over time, you'll see this just move over and basically 
when you're placing your clips, you want to place them throughout this timeline. And this is a long and boring part. We're going to go through here and just place the subjects. Now, of course, you can put way more than this, but basically when you get done, you just have a no flow of a bunch of images. Now, just for organization purposes, I'm going to move this, which is the background node. This is my transform node and the media out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and select all these. And hit Control G. And that'll create a group. And I can just zoom in. And it'll help clean up the node flow. Now, of course, if you go back here and double click on group, it'll just bring back all your media nodes. And then you can zoom in and click the X. And that'll close it back down. Now we get everything laid out. I'm going to the spline editor. Select transform. We're going to smooth out the keyframes. Now, once you're back on the edit page, you'll see you got these black bars here to fix that. Just go to the inspector tab and then just going to zoom in. You're going to zoom in to your liking. Do you want it to affect render out? This can be very taxing on the computer because you, if you think about it, you got over like 20 up to 30 some different 4K clips, 1080p clips playing at the exact same time. So you want to give it a minute to render. Let this little blue bar here fill out. And you play it back. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave any other effect suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll highlight y'all next time.